doing? I'm here at Gates Park. We are gonna go diving today. The visibility is looking good. Yeah, here it's been pretty phenomenal lately in this area. We're gonna cruise up the Indian Arm. We're not too sure where we're gonna dive yet, but we'll find somewhere to jump in the water. I thought it was supposed to rain today. I heard 40 to 50 millimeters, but I'm happy we came out. Yeah, looks like a tropical water there. I feel like we're diving somewhere other than Canada at the moment. It's gonna be Malik, Fred, and Glenn Allen on this trip today. And I'm gonna meet up with them right now. How's it going, Fred? What up, buddy? We loaded up the boat, got situated, and worked on a game plan. We figured Granite Falls would be a nice destination. It was a little windy, but overall, the conditions were good. I spoke too soon. It turns out, we found that 40 to 50 millimeters. Out there. Uh, yeah. Tides, currents, home. Really? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, sona, 40 feet. Without any specific dive spots in mind, we figured the dock was a worthwhile place to explore. We had some decent depth right offshore, and you never know what's been lost off the dock in the past. Malik had yet to try sea cucumber, and there was no shortage of them, so we filled up a bag. Looks like someone dumped construction materials here once upon a time. I know this is a common problem on city streets, but it never crossed my mind that it happens in the oceans too. Besides some garbage that was too large for us to collect, we didn't see too much, so we kept cruising. Our next spot was off the west side of Crocker Island, within a rockfish conservation area. Malik found a fish living in some trash. I think it's a crescent gunnel, but I could be wrong. Let me know if you can identify the species. I saw some sediment being kicked up. I'm thinking it was an octopus, but I can't confirm. Now it's on this cool bottle. That's fine, man. Eh? Yeah, that's cool, right? 
<laughs> we made one last stop and dove around the docks at the Royal Vancouver Yacht Clubhouse. They get an A-plus for cleanliness, no garbage found. We finished up the trip with a little sightseeing. Cruising through the mountains by water offers some spectacular sights. Before we disembarked, we offered up our services to the crabbers on the dock. Fred and Glenn Allen stayed back for a bit longer, but I was cold, it was time to warm up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if so, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, peace.